One Southern California reader wrote about Charlie Chaplin, actor John Garfield, and their wives being entertained on a Soviet ship docked in Long Beach and urged me to look into it. I did. Charlie Chaplin. Huh. The man who came to dinner and stayed for 40 years. Charlie Chaplin. Yes. He used American know-how to bring us laughter and tears. He made millions and millions of American dollars and continues to wow American film scholars, but he never became an American citizen. No, he never even had a Yankee Doodle yet. I bow to his talent, which borders on genius, but I have never liked this despicable British cuss. Morality charges have dogged him since the 20s. There were dozens of minors with beauty aplenty. Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> the man who came to dinner and stayed for 40 years. Charlie Chaplin. Yes. He used to know-how to bring us laughter and tears. Many of these damsels he gave screen tests, which have never seen the light of day. He was infatuated, excuse me, by their young American breasts. They were smitten with his little trap ballet. And his progressive and communist affiliation? Any red-blooded American would feel humiliation. But someone of his station? In our nation? Call immigration. Jewish? He denies it. Jews should be proud of their heritage. Christ was a Jew. Oh, there's more. And with his millions and millions of dollars, he never thought to make a contribution to the charitable institution of the Motion Picture Relief Fund Home. Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> the man who came to dinner and stayed for 40 years. Charlie Chaplin. Yes. He used American know-how to bring us laughter and tears. Mr. Chaplin is so wealthy. He thinks he is above the healthy moral standards of this country. So I, and others like Senator Nixon, strategized on how to get a fix on, aiming our moral bricks and sticks and stones into Mr. Chaplin's erroneous zones. Well, nobody is above scrutiny. Even me. And I'm clean. Then, in the most amazing turn of events, this girl walks into my office. I'd never seen her before, nor had I ever seen anyone as hysterical. From her wild eyes, I knew she was on the borderline of something desperate. Well, as it turns out, the girl was 24-year-old Joan Barry. In 1941, Chaplin met Barry, cast her briefly in a film, had a sexual affair with her, naturally, and then broke it off in 42, also, naturally. Barry, who did have a slight history of mental illness, continued to pursue him, and in May of 43 sought to confront Chaplin with her pregnancy, claiming he was the father. But Chaplin refused to meet with her, naturally. I became outraged and, together with my fellow celebrity writer Flora Bell Muir, encouraged the paternity lawsuit against Chaplin, then publicized Barry's side of the story and supported her throughout the first trial and a retrial. Bingo! Charlie Chaplin, my goodness. Your Hollywood star is tumbling because of your sexual bubbling. Charlie Chaplin, oh yes. Your communist association will bring you condemnation. And Chaplin did the unexpected.
he elected to leave the United States. Those in power were then alerted. Further behavior was averted. J. Edgar closed the gates. The U.S. Attorney General James McGranery, two days after Chaplin left the country, rescinded Chaplin's re-entry permit and ordered the Immigration and Naturalization Service, the INS, to hold him for hearings upon his return, which never happened. If Chaplin had known what was in store, his twinkle toes wouldn't have left our shore. American values were beautifully served. The son of a bitch got what he deserved, but not without leaving me a bit unnerved.